Hello, this is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries, and in this video I'm going to show you global shaping. Uh, global shaping is a feature that allows me to bend a solid or sheet body in a way that um, allows me to conform it to a particular shape or bend, for instance. Uh, this I have here is a speaker grill, and I want to bend it in this kind of arc shape here in this sketch. So to do that, I go to Edit, Surface, Global Shaping. Um, for this shaping, I'm going to use bicurve. There are several other different methods under type that allow you to shape this differently. For this video, I'm going to show you how to shape it using a um, law curve or a base curve and an arc. Um, for now, it it's asking me for the geometry to deform. So I'm going to go ahead and choose. Uh, make, I'm going to put this on body faces, which it is. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this body. I want to bend the entire thing. Um, now it's asking me for the base curve. The base curve is going to be this flat, straight curve here. This will uh, tell it that this is where, this is our starting point. So I choose the single curve. And now I'm going to go to um, control curve. You'll see now that it's already put it, uh, facets all over this model. It's ready to bend it. Uh, it uses this... Uh, lightweight faceted model to kind of display the change that's about to happen. Um, so now I select my control curve and it's going to be this arc. Now what happened here is that it flipped it because of the vector direction of the arc. The base curve is pointing this way and the arc is pointing that way. So I want to make sure that they're they're both pointing in the right direction. Now we have the two vectors side by side um, pointing in the right direction. And you see that now it's actually bending it in the correct manner. Um, you can choose to keep base, base length. What this does is it will uh, attempt to keep the original length that was there. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on. Okay, now it's going to generate the uh, deformed shape that was created using these two curves. This operation can take a little while if it's very complex. Um, and this one actually made a copy you can specify it to deform the original, but for reference purposes, I wanted to keep my original and bend it into a new shape. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the previous models. And I have a nice bent speaker. Grill and everything was bent accordingly. Looks very nice. And that was the video for global shaping. Again, my name is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries. If you want more training, tips, tutorials, check us out at designvisionaries.com. You can also check our other site out, nxtutorials.com, for cool videos. Thanks.